Hey, Alex Forte here, the Art of Simple Golf. How can you read a green like a tour pro? Well, for starters, you don't, I don't want you to spend hours on each putting green, reading the, the books, looking at it from every angle, wherever it might be. If you're trying to hold a putt for $100,000, carry on. But if you're just paying, you know, with your buddies for 10 bucks or just trying to break 90, please do not take your time. However, the sort of little procedure that I'm gonna go through right now isn't just going to improve the odds of you holding a putt, it's gonna reduce the three putts, and it does not take as long as you think. It might seem a little bit longer because I'm waffling on trying to walk you through it, but you read the greens like this, go through your process, you will play quicker, you will play better, and it only takes 30 seconds, 60 seconds. When your playing partners are going, you can do this as well. So let's try and read greens a little bit like a tour pro and help you hold more fast. Alrighty, so we have a couple of putts laid out here. The first thing I want you to do is get the distance right. And you can sort of have a, an idea as you're walking up to your ball, but it's always good to just quickly pace it out for two things. One, because we're trying to gauge the distance. And the more you sort of practice pacing it out, you're going to learn that dialing in, you know, a certain putt length is going to feel that way to you. If it's four paces, it's going to sort of feel a bit this way. If it's 10 paces, it's going to be another certain distance. Okay, that's the first element. But also, as you pace it out, it doesn't even have to be right next to your ball if other people are in the way. Okay, you can do it to the side just to give you that approximate kind of gauge it gives you a feel which is key so that's for the distance okay but also the benefit of if you're pacing it near your line you can feel underfoot and a lot of this is uh, underrated because people will let's say uh, they'll get behind the ball and they'll just use their eyes to look at the putt okay they'll do that but when you walk it, feel what the ground is doing. Let's say I'm walking towards you right now, okay? I can feel that we're going uphill. I can sort of feel the counterbalance. We are going uphill, all right? And even though, yes, my eyes can do it, it's gonna give me some subtle nuances just to give me an extra sort of benefit, an extra trust. And I can also feel whether we're going right to left, left to right. It's just giving me that engagement into the soil. I don't mean in a holistic way, but it's enabling me to read better. And the final element that we want to do, to read what your putt is going to really do, it sort of helps when it's running towards you if you're going uphill. But imagine that we're pouring a load of water into this cup. We're pouring a ton of water into this cup and it's overflowing. Where is that water going to flow to? Is it gonna run this way, this way, this way? That is gonna give me an idea because once it's overspilling, I can see that it's gonna run in this direction, sort of down the slope, left to right. So I've done three things, I've gauged the distance somewhat. I've felt it going right to left and downhill for this particular putt and I can see towards the end which counts the the most you know like the last couple of you know three feet of this putt is where the break is going to be affected most. So there's my reading. So I'm going to go a little bit outside to the right. I'm not and you know I haven't even looked down to see the precision of where I need to be. I can do that and I can pick a few inches because all I do from there is 
choose my intermediate point. Because one thing I want you to remember is every single putt is straight. Every single putt you hit is straight. In a way, putting is the easiest thing because all we're trying to do is hit a straight shot. A very sh small straight shot. It just depends on where we aim that will dictate whether we hold it or not. Whether you've obviously aimed, gained, gained, you know, done the right direction. So there's the reading. I pace it out. I've got my intermediate point. And I cannot promise I'm going to hold this, but I'm letting it drift round to the right. I hit it a little bit too firm through the break, but I missed it on the correct side. Now, the same goes for this part. I can just quickly go through it. So there's my sort of pace. It's just going to give me an idea. All right, so I've got four paces. Tiny bit right to left, but not much. I'm going to go down. I can see the water actually pouring towards me out of the cup. So I have to hit it a little bit firmer. And I pulled it a little bit. But I could actually, see, I didn't adjust there because the water was actually coming out of the left a little bit, which pulled it to the left. So my reading was incorrect. Now I've set this one up here that's a little bit more accentuated okay so we pace this out i can see as i'm coming up to the green we've got this slope this embankment coming obviously you know i can see it i can feel it but just by pacing it is putting me in touch in connection with it all now i just need to have an idea i've got the pace i just need to have an idea about where how far left i want to go what my intermediate point is going to be. So I can feel it on my feet, okay? People do the aim point stuff. I don't want you to worry about that right now. We're just going for general feel because when you get more consistent and getting it close, threatening the hole a little bit, then you can get more precise. So we're gonna try and go through. And we, you know, with the sensible putt is, I want it to just die. We've got more odds of holding it, but I don't want to attack this. I don't want to try and hit it through the break. I want it to just finish, ideally, just nestling maybe three, four inches past that tee peg that you can see there. So I've got to aim quite a bit out to the left here because the whole thing is banking. But my putt is straight. My putt is straight and I'm coming through. And I hit it a little bit too hard. And you see, that's what happened. But I have got an uphill putt, which does help. But you see, just by doing those things, pacing it out, feeling the ground with your feet, bending down and you know, getting more precise with the visuals, then choosing your intermediate point to hit your straight putt, then executing your pre-shot routine is the best way you can read greens. It's not that difficult, but there's a simple sort of procedure to follow that you can remember pretty easily. And as I said, if you do have parts that you need to hold for hundreds of thousands of dollars, we're gonna to need to take it a little bit further, but this is a very easy way to be able to hold more putts. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them below. And uh, I, I guess I'm sorry I didn't hold all the putts that I tried, but hey, this is golf.